Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' Cracking. It's Dean about to react to this video by Cameron. It's titled, Not Everyone Needs a Podcast. I support this message. I approve. I feel like everybody wants to hop on a microphone and yap <laughs> when they don't even have nothing uh, significant to contribute to the world. Why, why are you talking when you ain't got nothing, nothing of interest to say? If you're being entertaining, that's one thing, okay? But I feel like most people who make podcasts, they're always trying to educate and, you know, spread the word about something and tell you you should be doing this and what you need to do. And it's like, all right, bye. With, with no credentials at that, it's a mess. But if you own there yapping and, you know, you making people laugh or, you know, entertaining people, that's a different story. Contributing joy and laughs to the world, we can never have too much of that. But we talk about the experts, or at least I am. <laughs> anyway, look, let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. Look, I'm going to be the one the to say, experts, just because you have ones. one good conversation with your homies, that does not mean that you need to start a podcast. <laughs> I'm tired of dudes talking about aliens once, then thinking that they have yeah. the right to buy a Shure SM7B yeah, from yeah. Best the Buy. Now they got a podcast theories. called Alien Talks that's just uninteresting and dry. The host sucks, the friends suck, and even the podcast name sucks. Mm -hmm. You're not the next Joe Rogan, bro. Put the mic down and put the fries in the bag. Someone's got to <laughs> say it. Remember that one the relator the that bag. told you that you weren't making it to the NBA when you were like five years old. Just think of me as that. Hey, everyone needs a little bit of tough love in their life. Not everyone can be nice in this world. And I'm going to be the boogeyman here saying how your podcast sucks and your friends are boring. Maybe you should think twice before you take that trip to Best Buy. See, the problem is that this world is way too nice now. And now we have podcast clips okay. of dudes talking about how they want their mothers to have good sexual experiences. Because I love my mom. I yeah. want her to come. I don't know if this is weird to say, but I want my mom to have flawless experiences. How do you not know that if that's weird. weird to say? Like, oh, oh my gosh, I want my mom to have great sexual experiences. That is weird. That I is, want you to have you that. And I want you to have that as well. So it's like, is that weird to say? Yeah. Like, I genuinely want my mom to be getting down good. I'm going to give you some All tough right. love right here, you know? They this is going to be the toughest love that you've fantasy. ever felt. This love is going to be tougher than a well-done steak. You need to stop podcasting, bro. I'm sorry. Never in my life have I That's ever disgusting. thought about my mom having good sexual experiences. Y'all are just odd human beings. What even sparks... When I was, like, maybe 11, I... I want to say this out loud, but I heard my parents and I was traumatized by that for a very long time. I don't need to get to the details, but I heard some things I should have heard. I got up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. And when you talk about trauma, oh, even what I think about to this day, it, it really like breaks my spirit. So thinking, even thinking about that and be like, yeah, I'm happy for, even as an adult, Oh, I hate y'all. This conversation, like, how, how do you even get to this point? And why was this video even uploaded to the masses, bro? We need to start telling people no more often. You know what, man? I'm thinking about starting a podcast. No, bro, put the mic down. At this point, it needs to be easier to buy an RPG from a gun store than it is to buy a microphone from Best Buy. Because I promise you, if there were background checks for mics, we would be nowhere near this point. It feels like everyone has a podcast nowadays. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone. NBA players, rappers, children. The Hawk Tua girl just started a podcast called Talk Tua. Don't get me wrong, shout out to her for running up a bag okay. off that one phrase you know i saw that she got 30k for popping out to a club a few weeks ago like kudos to her you know i'm gonna clap it up for her but why would i want to hear that, that woman speak lady. for two hours straight each week about current events in her life i mean for crying out loud she got famous for talking about how she spits on the pp -pee. why am i supposed to care about what this woman has to say does she really need a podcast for saying huck the world could go without a podcast from this woman. You know what? Maybe I'm just hating. You know, maybe why, why don't I just check no, out one episode? Can't do it as good as do it. it. You do it. No, you do it. That's what they do Pop every episode. episode. <laughs> you gotta put like an emphasis on it, like, tuh. You know, like, tuh. Yeah, say it. All right, all together. Pop, tuh. All together. Pop, tuh. Say it aggressive. Like, like, Pop, really tuh. Oh my God. <sighs> 
after watching one episode of the Talk to a Podcast, I wanted to announce that I am quitting YouTube and becoming a full-time neurosurgeon, astronaut, and monk all because of this podcast. This is one of the most enlightening podcasts that I have ever watched. And I just want to say thank you, Hawk to a Girl, for opening my third eye and helping me evolve as a human being with your phenomenal podcast. I really appreciate you. All jokes aside, no hate to her. She's just capitalizing on yeah, her opportunity thing, like any other human be being would in her position. But overall, I just don't think there's anything really interesting about this woman that sets her apart from all these other podcasts out there. Yeah, she may be able to get some great guests on there because the podcast is connected to Better, which is a sports media company co-owned oh. by Jake Paul. But at the end of the day, like the guests can only carry her so far, you know? Like I said, there's not much interesting about this woman. She got famous for saying how she spits on the nutsack. You feel me? Not much interesting about this woman. She got famous for saying how she spits on the nutsack. You feel me? But like I said, she's just capitalizing on a once in a lifetime <laughs> opportunity. Podcasts, after all, aren't the hardest thing to do. Podcasting is one of those I'll things that I believe budget. is easy to start, but hard to master. The bare minimum is to get a few mics, sit down with some friends, record, chat for a little bit, and boom, you got a podcast. Like, it's not that hard. And if you already have an audience, it makes creating a podcast even easier. Because if the audience you've garnered cares to watch you for like maybe a few seconds or a few minutes each day, they'll for sure listen to you talk for about two hours each week. So it makes sense to why so many people are starting podcasts nowadays. But like the title says, not everyone needs one. While some of them are good, some just feel like people talking just to talk. Like, I wouldn't even call some people's podcasts a podcast. I'd rather call it Mike Terrorism. The other day, I saw a podcast clip of two dudes talking about Lefty Lucy Righty Tidy being the greatest invention of all time. Lefty Lucy Righty Tidy is the, the craziest invention of Ming. I use that all the time. The saying Lefty Lucy Righty Tidy. We just got a new machine. Okay. It's like, it's, it's called an articulating log loader. Yeah, what? It sounds like my toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. The fact that he even thinks about that when he's unscrewing something or screwing it, it bugs my mind. I don't, it, it's so second nature to me to turn to the left or right <laughs> when necessary. I, I don't even think about it. So the fact that you're like, lefty, left, Lucy, right. Okay. That tells me everything I need to know about you. That is wild. <laughs> There's a forks like this that picks up a log and then it can open and close on it and the left button opens it and the right button closes it and I literally say to myself I'm like lefty loosey right knew it. Tidy, when I need to let go I and grab it. it's the lefty loosey right I might get that tattooed on myself do you I'm sing a song too when you tie your shoes is there a song for that or do you say or is there like a I feel like there's a saying or something associated with that do you do that as well like this is embarrassing to say out loud I don't know why he said that no offense to these two dudes at why all because they're that? probably great people I could probably sit down chop it up with them eat a steak and just vibe out with these dudes but there's gotta be something way more interesting to talk about than a saying used for when you're screwing something in when like, you're a what's child next? are we gonna talk about bunny ears being the best method to tie your shoe do you or maybe even schist being the best I'm not gonna keep <laughs> I'm not gonna keep talking about my abilities I'm just not gonna keep doing it rock there is this conversation just feels so bland and pointless like if an alien were to imagine two human beings talking i'm pretty sure think of this ai generated ass convo right here like this is the product of podcasts being I think so AI easy to better. start up we now have dudes talking about screwing mechanisms as a topic of interest like i don't think every conversation has to be important in a podcast but there is no way that these dudes copped some premium ooh, podcast ooh, ooh. mics got the setup and everything just to talk about lefty loosey righty tight this podcast podcast just has no meaning at all. It's just yip and yap going back and forth about nothing. I swear these podcasts just get worse and worse, bro. Like, there's just too many podcasts now, and what more is there really to talk about? We gotta sit here and, like, just think for a second. What more is there really to talk about? Instead of having to get a degree for a job, people need to start getting a degree for a podcast. Like, let, let's just be real. Like, is there really a need there for a podcast a where frat dudes talk about Hawk Tua? Bro, I don't know if you heard of the Hawk Tua, girl. <laughs> yeah. Hawk on that thing. Bro, that blew out out of proportion. Like, I Loki think it got too big. You think? Yeah. I don't even know blew if it's out, like out that, of proportion. But <laughs> good for her, I guess. I don't know. No, like, it's everywhere. Dude, even at, like, Old Town, you'll hear Hawk Tua remixes. Really? Yes. Bro, I, I think it's crazy that you can, like, do one little thing and a clip can go viral and then all of a sudden the next day you're, like, a celebrity. You know? Yeah. Like, that's... 
That's crazy. Yo, this guy in the comment section even gets it. This man said podcast equipment should cost $1 billion. <laughs> I totally agree. I'm not going to lie. Like, no offense to these dudes. Probably some great people. But I'd rather drag my balls through the hot Sahara desert than listen to these frat dudes talk for two hours straight. You best believe right. I'm serving a life sentence before I listen to Jimmy and Tom from the Beta Theta Sigma frat talk on a podcast for two hours. That like, this podcast energy? is just drier than a Popeye's biscuit. Is there he... is no energy at all to this conversation. And you may be thinking, like, bro, you can't... I'm tired of Popeye's slander, honestly. Put some honey on it and I'm tired of y'all. But is he just assuming that or is that really the case? Because they is giving more nerd than Fry Boy, in my opinion, just by looking, but I don't know. can't judge off of just one clip of the podcast, you know? This is every clip. What is your favorite oh, Fry? I don't know. I like how big oh, SE's yeah. parties are and like yeah. Lambda, but like I think ASIC just threw a really cool party. So. Oh, I heard. Dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kyle was just on. He's an ASIC. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. It was a To be fair, party. I mean, I don't, I don't need to shit on Fry's or Saturnities. <laughs> I don't need to shit on frats or sororities, but uh, I'll talk about it then. Podcast just sucks. This convo just sounds so generic and bland. No energy at all. Just, um, what's your favorite frat? I like SAA. They're bad. Oh my God. I heard Kyle's there. Like, get this off the airways, bro. Like, what did Joe Budden say? That shit is that two pack of ass. I genuinely wish I could take back the few seconds of my life I wasted watching that podcast clip because now I just feel 10x dumber than what I was before. I feel like one of the keys to a great podcast is an entertaining host because there's going to be boring parts to a podcast and it's up to the host to make that podcast interesting when it's getting dropped. But the problem with this podcast is that the host has the personality of a raw chicken wing. So when he talks about boring topics and he's also boring, that just makes the podcast 10 times more boring. Another problem with everyone starting a podcast is that some people don't believe that they need to do proper research before they record. Like a little bit ago on Twitch, there was this streamer named Jason the Ween who hit 100,000 oh, uh, subscribers, you know? He was number two right, on Twitch for his right. amount of subscribers Thanks. in that month. And then there was this shitty TikTok podcast called the 949 Podcast that decided to give their opinion on the whole situation. And no, they're not really knowledgeable when it comes to this whole streaming space. So this was their take. Yeah. I think it's the new wave. It's it is. Yeah. It's just, but the thing is, it's the new wave because of clips. Exactly, exactly. Like Jason the Ween, he, guess how many live viewers he has? Just guess. Depends on the time. Just, yeah, guess. Like you guys 5K? Guess. How many live viewers do you think he got? Like, I like three k. Three k. So like he's like a number two, or I guess like, yeah. well he has like around fifteen to twenty. Oh, that's oh, wow. That's but, pretty good. But think about it, like that's not that good in terms of like views. What? That should look like live good for live. live. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's good for live, but think about the people in the world. It's only fifteen k. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Streaming is not like a mainstream thing Big yet. Thing, it's only yeah. mainstream because of the clips that they put out after, yeah, mm -hmm. right. which get millions and millions of views. Right. right. But no one's actually watching that shit live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, literally, bro. There's a few things that piss me off about this dookie TikTok podcast. Number one, this man is saying streaming is only big because of clips. Yeah, because nobody's gonna sit there and watch an eight-hour stream front to back. You idiot so to make it more digestible for the average viewer streamers and their audiences make clips so that more people can see their streams what's so bad about that another thing this man says is 15k live viewers isn't good views because the clips get millions of views that's how the internet works and 15k is good because it puts him in the top 0.1 percent of streamers like why is it surprising that a live stream has less views than a tiktok video are we becoming this slow in society where we can't comprehend that a live stream that you have to watch live has less views than a video where you can watch whenever this dude knows nothing about what he's talking about about. He's just saying a hot take because he has a mic in his face with the cameras on. This podcast just sounds like one huge gossip session. That's the problem with a lot of these podcasts. Yeah, like Some of them are just me. gossip sessions. Another situation of a what podcast host not knowing what they're talking about is this one right here. So a little bit ago, there was a situation with Kai oh, Snap, yeah. right? He had a cameraman that was talking to an underage girl. And this, this podcast, podcast so decided to put out their take on it because, hey, it was a fresh topic. Why don't we say something about it, you know? Why don't we do it for the clicks and engagement? And this is what they had to say. Kai Snap, everybody can't go. This you need to start looking go. around. And I know, like, black people specifically, when you get something success you want to bring everybody oh, with you what you got to be able to kind of weed that shit out i should know who chris v is i should know who chris next door is but chris next door is literally an amp member what do you mean that you shouldn't know who he is i should know who kai Sinat is because you are the driving force in it but then i shouldn't even know who they are i think it's important to highlight that chris next door is an amp member if you guys don't know what amp is that is kai Sinat's group that's the problem kai Sinat shouldn't have a group kai Sinat joined the group before he became this yeah, huge what? mega streaming machine this dude knows nothing about what he's talking about he's just saying a hot take because he's yeah, on a podcast that's how they got on yeah. having a team and making it with your team is very important but, but if they're problematic people in there, kick them out immediately. But yes. you gotta know when you are the one, like he is the one. I get so it. So he should abandon everybody? Yes. He did not do this alone. Like there was a journey of a camp of the them. And I agree, like this problematic person, this person that was 
Andre Rose, he has to go. He yeah. like, bye, we're never speaking to you, cut ties. Now that we are here, and it's the second, third, however many times something like this has happened, what does he do moving forward? Because now this, it can't keep happening. You have to insulate yourself, because at the end of the day, that group doesn't mean anything without him. That is cap. Because everyone actually grew themselves before they were in AMP. That's why it worked so well as a group, because everyone had their own platform before joining. Except for Chris, he kind of created his platform after, but he was still pretty known. But this guy just knows nothing about what he's talking about. And this is my problem with so many of these podcasts. Like, if you're gonna put out a statement on any current topic, you gotta do the research to back it up. You're gonna end up looking like an idiot. You can't just go in willy-nilly on something that you know nothing about. That's why a lot of bigger podcasts like Joe Rogan have someone who can fact check, which is Jamie, on his podcast. And if you can't afford someone to be in that spot, you should just look it up yourself before you put out this idiotic take on no, something you know nothing about. But like, when you are a podcast and you're specifically like speaking on shit, you bringing up topics to discuss like beforehand usually. That's weird to do. As a reactor, I say a lot of things I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I'm very transparent about that. And I'll say, like, I don't know if this is the case. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm sitting here reacting to some shit. So you get my live, you know, reaction and whatever. So I could be wrong. I say that all the time. But having a podcast or even a commentary channel where you're discussing particular topics and you thought about these beforehand and did a, some level of research. Because he, he clearly knows something about the situation. To still come <laughs> with some bullshit and not know what you're talking about is crazy. The difference between a hot take and just a bad and uneducated take. And this right here is what I consider an uneducated take because he just lacks the knowledge on what he's talking about. I like how some people on the podcast are like trying to tell him like, yo, it's not like this. It's kind of like this. But he just doesn't want to listen. He just decides to be ignorant. I swear some people just get a mic in their face and their brains just go to mush. They don't know no, what they're talking about. I seen a dude the other day talking about how you need to stop wearing Nike socks with shoes for no reason at all. Just because he said so. Stop wearing Nike socks with shoes, man. Or, um... A designer shoe. Even if you wear Nike socks with some Air Force Ones, just stop doing that, bro. I, I'm sorry, bro. I just can't see nobody wearing no Nike you socks can't see with a pair of shoes, bro. Like, what are you doing? My job is great. What do your socks have to do with anything on your fit? I understand if somebody says stop wearing a Nike shirt with Adidas pants. Like, that does kind of make sense. But stop wearing Nike socks with shoes? Why? Why, why don't you tell us why? <laughs> I think you even you have an explanation. Just, just stop. I just don't want to see it. You know, Nigga, I don't know, know you. You cameras, won't see it. Microphones away from society. Everyone has a voice, but not everyone's voice needs to be heard. That's Facts. This was so dumb, bro. People are so dumb, bro. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, I only listen to a couple podcasts. Theo Vaughn, Bad Friends. <laughs> Those are the only podcasts I, I even bother listening to or watching, actually. I watch them while I'm on the treadmill walking. Um, I might pick up another one or two, but listen, I can only take so much. And both of those podcasts are like comedy podcasts. Like I'm literally just watching it to laugh. Like, so they say stupid shit all the time, <laughs> but that's the point. That's the purpose is for laughs. Uh, but these other people, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot going on. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.